451 Research, AI and Autonomous Systems, Trends, Opportunities and Constraints. My name is Ian Hughes and I'm a Senior Research Analyst at 451 Research, now part of S&P Global Market Intelligence. I cover industrial IoT, augmented reality and virtual reality. S&P Global Market Intelligence, how will autonomous systems evolve in coming years? In the coming years, we can expect to see AI infused into many more of the tools and processes that we engage with. We already have ubiquitous connectivity with Internet of Things, but increasingly the industry is referring to that as AIoT, Artificial Intelligence Internet of Things, which is because AI is the thing that can help understand this vast amount of information and provide context and meaning so we can get some insight from all this instrumentation. And in order to engage with those AIs to understand what's going on with all this data, we need increasing use of what we what's called low-code, no-code interfaces. Ones that don't require everyone to be a data scientist, but merely an expert in the role that they perform. And here, AIs are then trying to understand what people are asking of a system. So it's yet another use of AI in these autonomous systems to help make it people-centric. What are some examples of emerging use cases? We see AI infused in individual machines at the moment in manufacturing, but the real benefit from it comes from the oversight that AI can have across the entire process. So for instance, if you're engaged in food manufacturing, making sure a machine is working to the best of its ability is clearly good, but knowing that your entire process is generating the absolute best food you possibly can to delight your customers is going to be a more successful business outcome. If you're in the chemical industry, you may have some regulatory oversight and you may be dealing with, with particularly dangerous chemicals. And AI is there to help get through those particular challenges, to show that you're doing the right things, to show that you're a safe organisation. If you're in the very basics of running a warehouse, making sure that a particular run is not empty as it's going backwards and forwards and things are taking the most optimal route and path through the warehouse, again, is saving time and money and energy. And all these things that are collections of AI processes coming together in a more holistic way to improve the overall process of your organization. What are the main constraints to adoption of autonomous systems? Automation of any type in a workplace can cause feelings of distrust and worry. AI suffers also a little bit from what we see in science fiction, typically dystopian situations that are put down to being caused by AI. Anything that's making a decision on our behalf, and we don't quite necessarily know how it made that, means we feel detached from the process and, again, threatened as people. But really, AI is infused in so many of the things that we already do. There is AI in graphics cards, in PCs. There is AI in your vehicle. Your word processor is full of AI tools and techniques to try and help you write better documents. So it's reaching already deeply into many parts of the organization. So on the shop floor of a factory, we can expect to have AI in machines to make those machines work better. As this builds out and these AI machines start talking to one another to look across the entire process, what we're really getting to be able to do is address our ESG goals, our environment, social and governance goals of the organisation. The AI can help a machine use less energy, use less resources, which is good for everyone. It can help us engage with one another and understand what our particular roles and what our particular challenges are. And it can help us understand that we're doing the right thing at the right time and hence meet those governance needs. So it's not one giant sentient being that we should be worried about. These are tools and techniques to help us do what we need to do better. Essential insight for leaders of the digital economy. 451research.com, sponsored by Microsoft.